just, I mean, ugh, wow, what a, what the fuck? You're really gonna play me like that? You're just gonna, you're, you're gonna mood whiplash me with this fucking Rosemary Wedding. Trezzy's still fucking looking for Vriska. Nepeta going into a fucking black hole. How many other souls are going to this fucking black hole? And just, uh, I mean, listen, on the one hand, it definitely looks like this is their joint house. I mean, look, you got fucking Dane Cook on the wall, which Dave is not a fan of, but you got your sweet bro and hella Jeff doormat, which is definitely not car cats. And I just, uh, uh, he's getting so old though. Look at the, and also the, uh, the babies, 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 so many babies, so many children. The news, I just, so we get, oh my god, I, hmm, I, oh god, I, I just, I have a lot of feelings and I don't know how to work them out right now. I, I don't know, this just, I don't know what my plans were going to be for 12 o'clock at night on this particular Tuesday. I don't know what my plans were going to be, but. I saw someone on Tumblr mention that there was an update, and I didn't believe it. But every time I see that, I gotta check. I just, I gotta double check. And I find this, I find that there's... I don't know. I don't know. Where did... Where... Mm. How do I put this? We're all trying to, mm, we're all trying to let sleeping dogs lie. We're all trying to bury the bodies and move on. Never truly move on because you're never going to look at the Zodiac the same way. You're never going to look at a, card, a deck of cards the same way. But trying to make peace with it. Waiting for the epilogue, which is supposedly coming. Which actually, now that I read the new I, epilogue I mentioned, which I've been making some notes on here. Uh, yeah, there's other words, other project. Does post canon content plan for later this month? Which is today, I guess. But I'm like. Which, other than the epilogue, we thought we were just done. We were just waiting for the epilogue to drop so we could read it and be done. And then canon of Homestuck is officially over. Honestly, I didn't expect anything for 1025 because we got nothing on 612. And when 612 passed and there was nothing, I just assumed that that was it. That was the first significant number to pass where we finally didn't have any new content, I figured that was it. I figured maybe on like, on like April 13th, 2017, we would get the epilogue just to stay consistent with years, but I didn't think we were getting anything else. I thought that was it. I thought we weren't getting that. It, I thought, I certainly did not expect to get this. You feel my, do you feel my like, Basically, this video is going to be really long and just me ranting, but I, I might just cut all this out because, holy shit, I, I don't know. I, Homestuck always has this ability to just put me in this state of what the fuck and what do I do with my life now? Even when it was updating on a, whatever you would call it, regular for Homestuck, air quotes around regular. Um, even when it was updating on a normal basis, I still did not know what to do with myself after an update because there was always so much information being thrown at you and you were always wondering like, what the heck is coming next? What can I expect? Who's going to die in the next update, 
who's going to be brought back to life in two updates from now. What's going on? And so I'm back to that sense of what do I do now because I don't have that security of, well, there's another update coming up probably either tonight at like midnight or in a couple days from now or like a week from now. But there was always that promise of there is another update coming. There is still more. And if any questions you still have may potentially still be answered. But now that we're really winding down to this point of, like, the only thing left is the epilogue. Like, that's it. There's nothing else. And so the fact that that's it, that it's the very last destination of if your answers are not, if your questions are not answered, then you're done. Like, that's it. You gotta just theorize it because you don't have any other choice. Um, I don't know. That's kind of daunting because I think it's a reminder to us as humans that just because we have questions about life and about really anything doesn't necessarily mean we're ever going to get a clear-cut answer, which is difficult, at least for me personally, because I'm very much a person who seeks out answers. If I have a question, I want to find the answer to it. And in some cases, things are very clear-cut. It's like a math problem, which I hate math, but it's like a math problem. There is a set answer that you can come to. Um... While reading, on the other hand, usually you're finding, you're making inferences, and even if you don't have one solid answer, you get a pretty clear idea of what's going on. But this is one of those cases where there's not necessarily a clear-cut answer. Like, uh, just any theories that you had about the series might not get answered in the end. Like, what the fuck is that? I mean, I know it's a black hole, but what the fuck is that? Another question, where is Vriska? Is Vriska ever going to come back? Is Trezzy ever going to find her? Is she just going to wander around this black hole for the rest of her life? Uh, why does Jake English's ass have to be on TV? It's another good question. Uh, I don't know. I just... I just... Dad? Like, why you get to do... Why you gotta do this shit to me? That too, like, dad just fucking dies, I'm assuming. That's what you're kind of implying to me, is that dad survived everything. At least this iteration of dad. Dad survived everything. He made it through the game. It's like, he survived, he made it into the new world. And everyone else, many of which were gods, they are gods, they're never going to die. They're going to age as we've seen John age and seemingly get taller, but they are never going to die, but he does because he's still just a human. He's just a plain old regular man. He didn't have, he didn't have a quest bed. He never hit god tier there was no god tier for him to hit he was just dad specifically he was just dad crocker and there was nothing else and he made it out and i guess that just the fact that he survived and made it into the new world with them kind of gives you this false sense of security that you're like if Oh, if dad can break out of jail and and fight and win and get this far, then surely nothing can ever take him down. Nothing. But when, then when you think about it, he's just, he's human. He has no immortality. He's just, he's the only human being alive who was just naturally going to die. I don't know. It's very strange. And I'm sure John and Rose and Dave and Jay, but especially John, is looking at this situation now 
as like, wow, his immortality is now very in his face because it's like dad's gone. It's like both iterations of dad are just gone and John is never going to experience that unless some weird cosmic mumbo jumbo makes him die. But he is going to live forever until Paradox Space just implodes on itself and then he's done. But until then, he is going to see civilizations rise and fall. It's like, I can only imagine what that must feel like knowing that he is going to last for so long but not everyone else will he's going to watch the new generations come and go the very first batch of troll and human babies that they created are eventually going to die and of course that brings into question what of Karkat and Kanaya and Terezi, where they didn't reach immortality, they never hit God tier. So, what does that mean for them? How long will they live? And it's just. And of course, they also have the added problem of Dave is screwing around with time, which they have to in order to speed up this, you know, bringing civilization around. But, like, right here, they speed up 5,000 years to get everything together. And so, I suppose, in theory, Dave could just bring all of them along for the ride, and they could always just move around the timelines this way, and theoretically, no one could die. But that also brings into question, you know, on a moral scale, can you keep doing that? Can you morally look at yourself and say, yeah, I'm just going to keep jumping around to keep these people alive, even though they are way past the point at which they should be alive? I don't know. It's, it's weird to think about. And I could be completely wrong. Maybe I'm reading this wrong. Maybe Dad is completely alive and I just went into this, like existential thing for no reason but and i get i mean the carapaces are gonna die too i'm event, i'm assuming they are not immortal because uh where was it i think i questioned it at the time too i was wondering where was the mayor in all of this in this scene in which it seems like jane is mayor and i thought really quickly like oh maybe the mayor gave her his sash to borrow just because it's like oh yeah celebration and everything but how long do carapaces last for is that not her borrowing it but a memento a surviving piece of him i i I don't know. That's another thing that just kind of boggles my mind because the idea of Karka, Kanaya, and Terezi eventually dying has, I think, crossed all of our minds before. And plenty of people have discussed it at length. Um, fan fictions do a lot to try and work around that, where they try and introduce some type of new level of immortality that they could reach and then fanfics also mess with that and they say no they're definitely going to die and they play around with those moments of how long they will live but i don't think anybody ever brings up dad as i just did and they don't bring up the mayor because these are characters that while they do have they have a lifespan and we try not to think of that because what world is, I know it's just a joke. Everyone's like, oh, the mayor is everybody's friend. But um, I think it just, to think that the mayor would one day not exist is very 
it's a very wild thought to have because I mean the mayor not existing the mayor is this wonderful being who could do no wrong and to suddenly not have him around like are you kidding me like come on this is some kind of joke I'm trying to find that picture of the Carpathians holding up the sign like happy birthday John because I'm trying to see if the mayor was in that one but I don't know at what point that happened at what birthday that was so just stay with me I need to talk about that in a minute but I'm trying to um not get distracted there it is okay yeah see this is just a Carpathian this is it's not the mayor it's just it's just the chess guys Okay, so I'll come back to, but yeah, just, mm. all right, I'll come back to this thing that I just said I wanted to go back to.